We lie.
Man, hello, what is going on, everyone? Hello, hello, hello. What up, what up, what up? Yo. Ready to go trucking today, man. Man, what is going on everyone hello 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 guys get a big shout out ladies and gentlemen hold on guys big shout out mr tally for the one year consistent there being a part of the super trucker club in the hammerhead community guys get some my guys in the chat some love for mr tally second one i've seen man with that big scoob and tally man hitting that big one year man good god good god yo big ike in the house tonight what up ike i good to see you brother man been a minute and a day what up cjw how we doing brother what's going on nasty mass gamer also coming in guys seven months with the mass gamer man says it's been an amazing seven months of watching you grow keep up the amazing work hey man i appreciate you man i'm just here for the ride you guys are the entire community here man i appreciate each and every single one of y'all hello hello there i am hello <laughs> what's going on trooper good to see you man what up day what a full battle man full battle man We're sorry to see some of the ogs roll on in here today what up mile what up cjw what up there ike wheeler Harang you, good to see you, Crixis. How are we doing, Exerma? Good to see you guys. Hope all is well, guys. What up, Sean, Jacob, Grim, Ninja in the house tonight as well? Man! Jesus Lord, guys, we got kicked out of the truck stop, so I had to do a free trip and get out over here on the main road. Man. Dude, I'm, I've been hooked on this song. It's. Phew, man. Dude, I've been, I've been pumped with this song. Everybody wants to be an outlaw. <laughs> Until it's time to do outlaw things. Come on. Oh, man. Man, we are back in the owner operator. What up there, Phoenix? Good to see you, man. Showing kind of you watched you for a straight year. My guy. Uh, lost about $20 of balls due to 30 mile an hour wind in the gullers. Oh, dude, man. The wind today? <sighs> Yo, the wind was nutty, man. Wind was nutty. Toast. Uh, everybody wants to be an outlaw until it's time to do the outlaw shit. Get on back. That's right. I mean, I love, dude, man. If that, if that is not, that is not the truth, man. Especially in this industry, man. Oh, good God, good God, man. What up there, Omar? Good to see you. I can't believe I've been watching you for almost a year, man, dude. It's crazy, man. I appreciate you guys, man. Appreciate all y'all. Uh, let's see here. Need a playlist. Need a good song. This heavy home playlist is pretty good. I mean, I might, might dabble. Might dabble with her. Lower her down a little bit. We might have to lower her down so we can hear this beautiful kitty cat. Courtesy of SESL for her. Uh, which girl is better? Kelly 900 Peter Will 39 or Freightliner Classic or Western Star? Good God, good God. Oh, God. Well, grill is better. I hate how on the 389 it's got the slope to it. I don't know why they did it. And a fun fact about a Peterbilt 389 hood, none of them are straight. Uh, and they actually released them from the, um, I guess, factory like that, which is a bit odd. My brake really on? And push that in, I guess. There we go. Put my foot on the brake. We'll get you guys the old webcam up there. You know, mics and jeans again. And there's my foot. Hello. Uh, that's the one I played from Spotify. What up, Brett? Yo, man. It, it's got some interesting tunes on it. I will be honest about it. Some of them are interesting. Some of them are a bit odd. Uh, something's funky over there at that truck stop. Uh, the ground is doing weird things. Even the game right now. I don't even know. Don't even know what's going on. Uh, what up there, Harangu? What's going on, Brett? At least it was just my remaining 2023 balls and not the new ones. Good God. Dude, the wind today was pretty gnarly. So, uh, right now, obviously, I'm in the dump truck. And then, wow, my co-worker's in the dump trailer. 
and watching him with the dump trailer this morning was anxiety 101 straight up like just waiting uh for that trailer to flip over basically not not that i don't have any faith in my bud but you know i just don't have faith in mother nature what up spiral good to see you man hope you're doing good brother i was just i was just casually waiting casually waiting uh we are headed guys this is from what was it thursday thursday was the last time we did a uh owner operator stream um i believe it was thursday or maybe it was friday i don't even know but uh we are on our way to rock springs with a frack tank on and we still got about 600 miles of this ride uh gonna be trying to obviously do it with no issues we stopped got some go-go juice got some rest so we should be able to complete the ride here and uh continue on the big road man that is not ses i i am mistaken it is the cummins by serial black uh what up kenworth good to see you, man i'm kind of alert today i'm in a bad impressive state right now well hopefully man we bring you around there get you a little bit of smile hope you're doing all right brother uh goes up to 30 mile an hour is looking to get 100 on the round my guy i do like golf 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 what i don't know jamming some fs22 oh my lord i can almost guarantee though that you're farming and you are doing nothing of the construction style there buddy you are a purist so we're gonna be riding on guys we're gonna be trying to get this owner operator series in tune uh, if you guys did not see, I released the video on YouTube yesterday. I've officially got it set up to where I have a, well, not just a 15 speed. I have every single transmission known to man, basically. I'm talking like Mac transmissions, uh, Mac 8 speeds, 18 speeds, 12 speeds, that kind of jazz. I've also got, uh, obviously, the 15 speed. So eventually once i have it all tweaked and ready to go the proper way that i feel is the most accurate uh i'll hook you guys up there and how to uh make it nice and easy for a quick simple install uh so you guys have no issues uh what up slamming sam good to see you brother how you doing uh correct i don't have it yo ike coming in with a 20 my guy dude guys get some love in the chat get some love in the chat for ike man Ike, man, we appreciate you, brother, man. I appreciate you, bro. You guys, got some my guys in the chat. And like I said to you guys, too, in the YouTube video, every everything that is thrown to this channel, we're going right back into it. So I do appreciate it, guys, man. You know, we're, we're looking to jump back on that dream of becoming an owner operator again. Man, tier three also, man, from Big Ike. Guys, get some sub vibes in the chat. Three months with tier three with Mr. Ike, man. I appreciate you, big guy. Hope you're doing well. I appreciate you, man. Guys, get some sub vibes in the chat. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, guys, like I stated to you, man, like all all the all the love, the support, the donations, all that stuff is going right back here into the channel, into the community. Uh, looking to go into owner operator again buying a truck for the channel you know we're going big and going home this year man we are going full tilt all the way man uh i plan on trying to try to get a truck here in the future been saving up as much as i can been working that's why i've been switching my job around trying to get as much hours as i can you know i've been leaving at two in the morning trying to get some hours in and everything else but, uh, man, dude, I appreciate you, and hopefully, you know, we can reach that goal. Because, like I said, I want to have you guys involved with this every step of the way. And, you know, if we're able to get a ride, get back into it, become an owner-operator, I want to be able to travel and actually see you guys and have you guys come for rides, see the trucks, be a part of it in real life. For example, next week, if you guys don't know, it is Mid-America next week in Louisville, Kentucky. So if you guys are in the Louisville area and you guys are looking to head on out over there, I will be over there probably in uh, the exact same outfit that you see me in right now. I'm not going to lie. It's probably uh, probably the same outfit. 
Uh, the old modded ATS hat with some jeans on and a good old flannel. Come on, man. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. If this doesn't put you in the mood right now, that's my dance right now. I just like that. I'm a Peterbilt. No time to stop. Just got passed by McDonald's and I'm got it pinned to the floor. That's all right. That's okay. You can do some no. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Man, I love this jam right now. Thank you. I've been awake for like 15 hours. Got two hours of sleep last night. We're feeling good. ZW. Appreciate that, man. We're coming in. Three month resub. Get some love. Yeah, I'm, I'm vibing right now. I'm feeling it. That's how much I'm feeling it. That's how much I'm feeling it. I'm a dancing man, and I just can't lose. You gotta watch the feet. It's the feet work. Oh, it's the big toe. Oh my god. Little Bee Gees right now. We'll be city stripping in there, Fred Bonner's from one normal shade in the lap. Ha! Ha! That's right. Oh, here it comes. 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 Stand alive! Oh man, I just, I'm just vibing right now. I'm going nowhere. Somebody help me. Huh? Huh? Somebody help me now. This is what happens when you go to bed at 11 o'clock at night. You wake up at 1.30 in the morning. You go out, you put down about six, 700 miles in a day. You come back, you jump into the virtual Peterbilt from your real Peterbilt, and you're with the best damn community ever there, 42. That's how I feel right now. Just vibing. <laughs> Just vibing. This is this is definitely definitely the heavy haul playlist. Like if I was heavy hauling right now, IRL, and I had this playlist on right now, I'd be like scale house. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> yeah, what up ADSK, what up Sir Truck a lot? What's up, skinny? Uh what up, Scoop? Oh man. Oh, back out of it, back out of it. Oh! Tell the officer here right now that you can tell by the way I drive this Pete. What up, baby? Oh my god. Oh my lord. I love Jake Briggs. Time to make some bucks with these awesome trucks. What up, Jay? Wow. What an honor it officially is to say hello to you once more, Mr. Jay. Oh, man. How the hell have you been, brother man? Hope you are good, my dude. Now all the new guys are like, what on earth was that? <laughs> you got audition for the mass Singer? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I hope all is well, man. Z-Dub, man. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate that resub, dude. Hope all is well with you, dude. I'm going nowhere. Somebody help me. Somebody help me, honey. <laughs> oh man, my wife right now is downstairs probably going, what on earth is he doing right now? And I'm just like, I'm staying alive! This is how I act in real life though, by the way. Like, that's what's the comical thing, is like literally what you see here is basically what you get when you meet me. <whistles> Especially when I've been awake for this many hours. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Shake it! Shake it. Shake it. Oh, man. I can only imagine what's going to come on next. Man, give me another good beat, man. That was a... 
Oh, oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. Is this not real life? Oh my God. I love this all, man. Let's have a freight train, baby. Get some dancing dinos in the chat with this one. New start and you as a freight train, baby. Finally bought a used truck in the hard economy. Oh my god. Did you really, big guy? You were way ahead of me. Ah, uh, man. Jesus, Lord. Would Mike rather deliver a 55 ton generator or 55 tons of feathers? It would be the same thing. I prefer the generator though. Uh, finally bought a truck on the hard economy. Uh, base speed was only 24K. Ooh. I'm wondering if Twitch uses more RAM on Firefox than Brave. Couldn't even tell you what Brave is. Unless you're talking about the other people who are on the road with me right now because they're pretty brave, okay? That's uh, basically a fact right there. Ah, yeah, buddy. My chair go back. Oh, good God, it does. I bought one at level seven. Was a one star W900 LOL. Are you still paying to fix it? <laughs> oh, man. I'm just getting my doors blown off. Which girl is better, the W900 or Peter Will 39 or Freightliner Classic or D49X? Probably what I told you about six minutes ago. What's going on, Diva? Uh, I don't know, man. I guess I would go over W900 if I choose. About to shut my eyes since I'm awake a well while. Man! All right, brother, man. We'll catch you later, man. Be good. Keep the hammer down, brother. Oh, God. 49X is too big. It's not even a real grill. It's all plastic. Need to pay 4K for repairs? Ooh. I like, I like metal trucks. The 4900 SF, though. Yeah, well, it's metal. There you go. Yo, Elvin. Elvin, save your gaming. Welcome to the Hammerhead community, man. Glad to have you here. Appreciate the follow. Hope you're doing well, Miss Diva. I reckon a 55 ton of feathers would fill a huge cargo ship, cowboy. It would, but I really wouldn't want to drive it in case they weren't secured properly. Then I'd be going down the road with feathers flying everywhere. Come on. Have you tried... Have you tried a Ford F-150? Like, in real life, I've driven it. I will not drive a pickup truck in this game, though, no. I can tell from your high-class steering wheel. That's right. That's right. Uh, my Twitch was lagging until I switched. Oh. Yo, Big Mars, man. 11 months. One away. One away. But he's on the five-month streak. Appreciate you, Mars. Welcome back to the Supercharger Club, brother, man. Guys, get some love in the chat for Big Mars. Appreciate you, Mars. Bum, 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 bum. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I'm taking it. I just took it. Yo, Kiyoshi. Man, this is the day of the OGs. What up, Kiyoshi? Good to see you, man. How are you? Cedar City in the middle of nowhere. Ooh. Good. Let him be. Let him be. I'd rather be in the middle of nowhere. If the game looks a little bit different to you guys, it may, it may not. That's because I do not have Snowy Moon on. Snowy Moon is updated, which is one of the problems with Snowy Moon, is that when the game updates, it debunks your game. Um, but yeah, so I turned it off, or yeah. So it might not look as sharp. Yeah, the screen's black. I got you. <laughs> We're just closing our eyes right now and just imagining what is being done. Uh, Snowy Moon is updating bugs. A lot of assets on the map, too. Roddy, how much money do you make a year? Not enough. What up, crazy boy? I drive for fun. Uh, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm waiting for the 150 to drop. Start a new run with the GDC beta. Good God. What are we listening to now? Oh, do me. What is this? 
See if I can eat my uh, little snaggy poo here. Just doing a load. Oh, mine didn't update for some reason. That's the answer I was looking for. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Uh, that is just the truth. <laughs> it does look different. Mike is driving safely. I hear you, dryer. I hear you. Yo, Z Dub. Give it to one to Bad Papa. Another one bites the dust. Bump, bump, bump. Another one bites the dust. And another one down. And another one does. Y'all appreciate your Z-dubs. Welcome back, Bat Papa. Welcome back, Papa. All you need to do is get the tier one for a dollar and download the latest version, and it works then. I've already got it. Another one bites the dust. It used to just do it automatically, but apparently not anymore. But my ATS updated. Bump, bump, bump. Another turn. Uh, you have the 5K in the game? Uh, I don't know. We're going to find out in 350 miles. I think so. I think I'm close. Uh, I said try to log out and re log on the site. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. I'll try it later on or something. I, I personally, I mean, listen. On this profile, yes. Okay, like, on this profile, yeah, I see a difference with the snowy moon. But when I play, like, on my other profiles with, um, you know, that I see, you know, uh, JBX and, and, and PNG, like, I don't see big differences. Yo, what up, Fisher J? Appreciate you, man. I see you follow. Welcome to the community, brother. But, like, on this profile with snowy moon, I see a difference. Five ads, never seen that on your channel. Well, you're not a subscriber. You are not part of the Super Trucker Club. That's weird that there's five. Five ads is a little much. Yeah, five is a little nutty. That's all Twitch, that's not even me. I don't run ads. Mike, I have a question. I have noticed that since I installed the heavy cargo and special transport DLC, that none of my trucks will go over 65 mile an hour, no matter what engine or what I'm hauling. Any idea why? Are you using an external contract? That's why. External contracts only do 65 as a top speed. That would be your world of trucks. I tested it five hours ago. It worked for me, and to be honest, the TAA, in my opinion, is doing more for me than JBX. Right, yep. See, I like JBX because I didn't get it for $90. Um, I was on it earlier, and I, listen, listen, not saying that's not worth it, not saying that it is worth it, right? Everything is worth something to somebody. Oh my God, a little burnout right now, a little Midland. However, I was such an early supporter uh, for JBX2, that JBX3 was still um, in development. I'm down a road in a day. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Big iron on his hip. Big iron on his head. Good old big iron. Uh, so I was early on. I was early on with JBX too. So as JBX upgraded, you know, we actually had to buy into JBX too, right? So I think I remember paying like 20 bucks. And then 
as time went on, like he would have a new update for JBX2, 10 bucks or five bucks or whatever it was. Uh, and then what happened was I eventually accumulated, no joke, like up to like 60 bucks. And I didn't care. I mean, listen, it is what it is. I mean, I'm not, you know what I mean? It is what it is. It's not like it's going to make or break the bank. It's, you know, it is what it is. So what was cool, though, was when he released JBX3, whatever you had into JBX2, you just paid the difference. So JBX3 was 90. I only paid 30. So, but it was over time. Like, that's what a lot of people don't realize. Like, when people start seeing things of, like, the cost of stuff for, like, simming in general like whether it be wheels pedals um screens sim rigs it's something that's occurred over time you know what i mean like it's not like we're all just big ballers and we're just like yo man would you drop like 20 grand right now uh no i i really have a tree i need to take out of my backyard and that really needs attention before i go and drop you know what i mean but maybe over four or five years why not sure it's not gonna go anywhere that's what a lot of, so when you guys are new coming in for all the new guys who are like getting into ATS, like, no, like 90% of us aren't all ballers and to the ballers, yeah, we salute you, man. That's badass. I'll be honest with you. I'm not jealous. I'm, I, I am a little jealous, but I'm not going to get mad at you. It's badass, man. Good for you. But you know, 90% of us did it over time. You know what I mean? That's the reality of it. Uh, PNG is cool for road textures. And I use the Weather 308 Skyboxes. They look better than PNG and JBX ones compared to all three and the 30 wins. Oh, well, there you go, man. Teach their own, man. I see PNG to me only does like, I don't even think, PNG doesn't do anything for me for the Weather Boxes. It just, I just literally have it for the roads. But JBX, I prefer their, uh, their, their time frames and their Skyboxes personally. Uh, still trying to get used to this new schedule of yours. Yeah, you and me both there, little boss. How you doing, brother? You and me both. It is, uh, it's a hard knock life for us. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit rough, brother. But, what up, Carter? Good to see you, man. How you doing, dude? It is a, uh, it's a fun one. That is, to say the least. But, like, last night, we had really, really bad high winds here yesterday. Like, really bad. And, uh, I blame Dave and Tally and Justin. Because last night, I was trying to go to bed, and I had played a little game of Age of Empires. Anyone play Age of Empires here? Age of Empires. The little Age of Empires got Dave in on it. And I uh, was doing a little bit of that. And I forgot what I did before. And then I said, anybody want to play like Call of Duty real quick? I'll do like a quick round of COD. Next thing you know, an hour and a half later, it's like 8 o'clock. I'm like, dude, man, I have got to go to bed. I need to be up at like, you know, 1 o'clock in the morning. I have to go to bed. Finally go to bed at like 8.30. Well, the wind was so freaking bad last night, man. Like banging on the house and like, I was just basically waiting for like, you know, the roof to come off and little munchkins running around telling me I was going to go see the Wizard of Oz and shiz. Like it was pretty gnarly last night. I thought we were going to end up in Kansas. It was insane. Um, and woke up. There was no yellow brick road. Okay. However, though, I realized when I finally shut my eyes, it was like 11 o'clock and I'm like, yo, I am totally big time. And literally like woke up at like 1.15 and I'm like, I'm going to work right now. We're going. And she, my, my wife's like, are you tired? I'm like, I'm pretty freaking dead. <laughs> literally waddled out of the house, got in my car, I'm like this. You know, going down the road. Uh, but as soon as I got the Peterbilt, we were pretty good to go. <laughs> and here we are. Now we're like on my third or fourth wind. So I'm feeling pretty good. Thought about getting Age of Empires? Bro, listen, I love it, man. It is such a basic game, right? It's so basic. But when I was in high school, back in high school, what up, Jesso? What up there, Mr. CJ Lou? I used to play back in high school, and we used to, like, you know, you'd have, like, the Malaysians fighting the Persians and the Turkish and the blah, 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 whoever else, whatever ancient civilization. Um, you know, and you'd basically build up and you battle a triumphant battle, and it was fun as hell back then, man, because you got to understand, like, I'm old, man. I'm, I'll be thir I'm 34. So back then, like, I started in the age of the PC, like when we had like World of Warcraft was huge. World of Warcraft came out, and we had Ozzy Osbourne going like, hey, Mr. T, I play World of Warcraft, man. I'm like, wow, man, I wish I could afford that. I'm broke. I can't afford $15 a month. And, um, you know, 
for for what we had, Age of Empires was like the shiz. Uh, I had that in RuneScape, and you know it was basically free to play. But uh, now it's funny because now as I'm older, the game has been like redefined. It's re it's the definitive edition. It's got like all this HD stuff. So like, it looks like it's still stuck in 1997, but it's got beautiful colors. It's oh man, it's crazy. Ah uh, yeah yeah yeah. Oh please don't stop in front of me there, man. Keep it rolling. The graphics look better. Oh hell yeah, the graphics look way better than they did in '98. Ah <laughs> uh, we're dead. Come on. Ah oh, there we go. Man, I got nervous there. Uh, everyone has their preferences. That's cool stuff with all the mods out there. There's an option for everyone. Free and pay. That's right there. Oh my god. Frack tank. Uh, you ain't Jersey Mike's anymore. You're in Subway. Oh my god. Fun fact, I used to work for the guys that literally built every uh, Jersey Mike's that you've ever been to. Fun fact about uh, a little bit about me. That started in New Jersey. Ironically. And... No, I didn't go to, like, North Carolina or Connecticut, but the gentleman who began it, we used to do work for, and he would franchise it out to whoever would go to it, but uh, the my buddy who I used to work for, we used to do every Jersey Mike's, whether it be brand new or um, being renovated, so that's a fun fact. That and Bubba Coos, Bubba Coos. All right, Scoob, we'll catch you later, man. Be good. Have a good night, brother. Uh, you're uh, Okay, yeah, there's a stupid question been around trucks for a long time, but never one. What does double clutch and refer to? So, so there are non-synchronized transmissions, right? So the double clutch in a, in a theory is in order to shift the truck properly, like it, when you, if you've ever driven a car with a clutch, right? All you have to do is put your foot on the clutch one time, and then you can pull back into gear like so, like that, right? That is basically how you drive a car you push the clutch in one you push the clutch in and you go right to your gear when you double clutch you're basically working twice as hard so you need to literally push the clutch in to get it out of gear get off of the clutch push your foot back down on the clutch and then put it into the gear you're going for so like right now hypothetically i'm in this gear i would need to push my clutch in up rev it up push my clutch in again and that's how I would get into that gear. You're basically, if you if you think about double clutching as like an open door concept, like you're opening a door, then shutting it, and then now you're in the hallway, which is neutral, and then you need to open the door and shut it again to get in the next door. But in Europe, there are synchronized transmissions on those trucks, so your Dash, your Scanias, your Volvos, your Mercedes, your Ivecos, all those are synchronized, so they drive like cars. You don't need to do that. But here in the States, I'm assuming probably in Canada as well, considering that Obviously, we share a lot of manufacturers. Um, they are double clutching because they're not synchronized. We're dead. We're done. Oh, my God. Everybody just died. Everybody just died just now. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. They're all dead. But we're all, everyone just died. We're all dead. Everyone's dead. That's it, guys. That was the game. Everyone died. That's it. Everyone died. Everybody's dead. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. But here's what's scuffed. Now, I don't know whether or not I should thank Busy and Broke or be concerned. Because here's the kicker. We just killed everybody here on the, uh, on the uh, 80. <laughs> Literally. Uh, mass casualties. However, though, because there's not a cop nearby, I basically just got away with a hit and run. So, I don't know if I like that or not. That's a new update to the GDC. I mean, listen, it helps me out when I talk to you guys here in chat because, obviously, in case I come into a situation like that, you know, and the way my brakes are set up, like, I'm not really paying attention 100%, but... I feel like I still should have got a ticket, but hey, listen, we're not gonna argue it, okay? We're not gonna argue it. Uh, I'm too familiar with that area, only pass it. Uh, I'm going there next week, yeah, you are. Oh, any good places to eat in Louisville? Oh, I don't know, I, dude, I'm telling you, you will not have time to eat. There's a lot of places there, too. It's, I'm telling you right now, Spiral, I don't know who you're going with and what kind of peeps they are, but if you guys are truck guys, you're gonna eat there at the convention center, I'm telling you straight up. like. 
you will like so last year i went for two days there's a reason i'm going for three this year is because literally last year i missed like 75 percent of what was going on there because you're just so zoned in on what you physically see right away that you completely forget on so much that is there so like and i think we're getting bust over like 7 a.m or something like that and like i plan on being there from like well i think thursday is the um i think thursday is the light show if i'm not mistaken so i'm sure i'll be there from like seven to midnight or whatever the hell it is it's gonna be what i really need to do is uh try to buy a memory card i really wish i really wanted to get a microphone like one of those little road mics but i wanted to uh i wanted to try to get one of those road mics but uh, I just couldn't, I couldn't swing it yet. But um, I wanted to get one of those road mics so it would block the wind noise out. But I'm gonna have to get some memory cards because I'm gonna run out. But uh, roads are sweet. Yeah, I want to get the little one that goes on the shirt. But um, you know, as, as I just told Crazy, you know, I drive for free. <laughs> I don't make money driving a truck. I'm trying to save my pennies there. But uh, I wanted to try to grab one of those before the show. But we'll see what happens. And. Uh, like I said, though, I wanted to get one of those little ones, but I need to get memory cards. Excuse me, there's so much going on there. It's not even funny. A Volvo would have survived that. Would it have survived it or would it have survived it? Beware of the insurance payment clipboard, Mike. Shh. I don't own this truck. I don't pay insurance. That's right. That's right. There's our cheers. Where's uh, our destination? It's still 90 miles away. And I still have a little bit of my snacky poo here. Oh. What about the lawsuits from that accident, though? Since it was a hit and run, they go over the registered owner. And I'm not the registered owner, so we win. I'd say they do a lot of things. Of whoever owns the car for their license plate. So it should be pretty good. That was actually, too, one of the... Pro like, no joke. I mean, we handled that all really pretty well. But that was probably one of the most severe accidents I've ever gotten in this game on this profile. And it, we didn't even get a ticket for it. So uh, I can't really complain about that. I literally just murdered 10 people on the 80. We literally sent a few of those people into next week. Kemmer, Pocatello. Bump, 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 bump. Oh no. Oh no. Thank God there's a 13 in this truck. Yo, what up, Mr. Pitcher? How you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Uh, Wyoming Highway Patrol will be hiding in the bushes. Beware, Raji. Tired? I hear you. I hear that. They will jump out. Well, hopefully they jump out and they don't pull out because I probably don't want to hit another patrol car. I'd give it another 40 minutes before my head hits the steering wheel, and then we really have a good time here on the stream. But we are 30 miles away from the destination, and we'll take it. Bump a bump a bump a bump a so the guy, I don't know why this made me think of it. So I live 
in Delaware. And Delaware is home to the Dover Air Force Base. And I get loaded pretty nearby uh, the Air Force Base. And if you guys don't know about Dover Air Force Base, it is like the Air Force Base. Um, it is sad to note that it is known uh, for anyone that is, uh, you know, or who has lost their life overseas in the military, they always come through Dover, right? It's, that is the place of places. Like, that is where everything goes down. Well, you never know what's going on there because we always have jets flying over. There's always the big cargo planes that pull tanks, the whole nine, right? Well, the sand pit is literally like a street over from where we get loaded. And the guy that loads me, he's a funny guy, man. He is a very funny guy. He's a little out there. He's a little out there, but he's funny as hell. And he says the most random things I've ever heard in my life. And like the other day he was talking to someone and like, like you see these like little sticks here in the ground, like there and there. Well, here in the States, we have like li these little orange skinny ones, right? They're little orange ones. And what that is, is basically what, what people do when you mow their, when you mow your lawn, like they're like little flagpoles almost, right? So if you, if you have someone to mow your lawn, you know, sometimes people will put it there so they don't run over your sprinkler system or something like that. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, right? They're like these little skinny poles and they're like little flags, right? And like, you'll see them in the lawns, but imagine a little bit of a taller one and a little bit more of a metal rod, probably like, you know, uh, probably about as thick as your finger, but probably about like maybe four feet tall. Well, he pointed out in the sand pit that there was like five of them, right? There's like five of them pointed around this pile and realistically they were there. So you obviously did not drive into the pile. This guy looked like the guy like dead serious gets on the radio and he's like, he's like, literally he's like, Hey, you see those poles over there? And the one guy's like, yeah, I see them. Yeah. Something's about to go down. <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm sitting in my truck and I'm like, what the frig is this guy talking about, right? And he goes, something's about to go down. And the guy's like, what do you mean, man? What's going to go down? He goes, I don't know. Some kind of military exercise. Something big's going to go down. That's why those poles are there. I'm sitting there. I'm like, you know, if I had to sit in a machine... For 12 hours out of a day and stare at sand all day, I bet you I would probably see aliens by now. Like, for sure. Like, it was the most random thing I've ever, like, what, in what world? Why would someone go to that? But the way he was saying it, like, you probably had to be there. So I'm going to find it obviously a lot more funnier than it probably was. But I'm just sitting there like, what in the frig does that mean? Just the way he's like, yeah, something big's about to go down. I'm like, what, someone just drive into the pile? Oh, man, is it rebar? Nah, they're like just little, they're not as big as rebar. What up, big sky? We have an Air Force base 30 clicks north of my town. Jeez, Lord. Saturday, me and Scooby and a couple other guys were combo. We had a car doing somersaults down. Oh, my God. I also love how I officially have three convoys up and not one of them work, by the way. I'll show you guys. You want to see it? I'll show you here when I pull in here. I have learned my lesson with my DIY head tracker. Try my friend Tody now. I have to have it. That's right. Well, listen, uh, listen, Diva. You use our code. You get a nice little discount off. It tries to help off the price a little bit, you know. So don't forget if you do go ahead and grab it. Do uh, do do it in the chat. It's exclamation point Toby T O B I I, and then I uh, get a little bit out there. It'll hope you, hopefully helps the pocket out a little bit. But yeah, Toby is a uh, listen. I know you can do it obviously with webcams and the whole nine, but. When you actually have something that's built to do what it's supposed to do, it's pretty nuts. But also, too, if you play any other games that involve head trackers and eye trackers, it's definitely worth. Uh, by the way, you see Slab Jerry has a 3406B straight pipe on the workshop.
Kenworth, Kenworth, Kenworth. Uh, following since November 27th, 2023. Okay, long enough, long enough. Okay, okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, let me see something here. Uh, where is it, where is it? Oh, wait, there it is. Look at that. Ah, it's so crazy. Um, there's a modded ATS channel here. Uh... I mean, I'm subscribed to it. And, oh, sweet heavens. There's a old school cat and 15 speed mo B, B model cat. Wait a minute. We have, in fact, the ever so notorious 15 speed transmission. So we're gonna have a cool ride here, 390 rears. We're gonna have a good old ride. We got the Delaware plate on it. Now, this is gonna be an interesting one for you guys. This is gonna be an interesting one for Kenworth 65. Because underneath that hood, underneath that cab. What's underneath the hood? And what is underneath the cab? We have a very, very unique setup here for you guys. I've been trying to get a, t trying so long how how long get it tweaked the way i want it the way and did you get it tweaked the way it should be With the help of a few friends got it tweaked properly gentlemen here is first things first what could possibly be in what possible way could be first. Let's listen. We've got a B model cat in here. Four and a quarter cat. And right behind her, we have in fact the ever so notorious 15 speed transmission. So we're gonna have a cool- Kenworth, I want you right now. Right now. I want you to do exclamation point YT in the chat. I want you to hit that sub button because let me tell you something right now. After today's stream, I want you to go over there and watch about 23 minutes of this. And I promise you it is gonna be some of the best eargasms you've ever heard in your life. We got a 15 speed with a deep reduction, a 15 to the dash with a 3406B by Slab Jerry, four and a quarter kitty cat. Just listen here, right just a few. Here, Hold on, years. just watch as I pull out of here. Notice right off the splitter doesn't split. It actually I actually go over a little bit about how to run the 15 speed. Max in a sense. Three, four. Look, 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 look here. Look here on the old gadgetry here. Five. Direct five. Come back to neutral. Neutral. Pull that back because now we're going to go to one. Normal. One, three, four, five. Now watch when we drive this thing. Well advanced. It's time. Hmm. So we're gonna. What are we gonna do? Follow the gypsies here too. Mm, we are in direct one. Try not to wreck as we get out of here. I guess I've got a hundred thousand on the back of it. Hundred thousand pounds on the back of this trailer, guys. And it's gonna be an interesting video. It's gonna be very interesting. Try to watch. There's direct two, direct three. Here. Direct four. I'm gonna come back to main and three. The way we ship the fifteen. Now main four. Like right there, going from direct four to four. 15 speed, baby. And then this 15 is an old school 15. So Right to the dash, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I'm telling you, man, you got you to go out there, man. Check out the YouTube channel, guys. I'm telling you, if you guys haven't already. And we got another video dropping tomorrow for all those guys who watch the Let's Play of uh, my vanilla version. That is coming back out tomorrow as well. So in case you guys are curious about that as well, that'll be out tomorrow. As well as the uh, No Gypsis profile. That'll be coming back as well. That's coming back as well. Uh, you're starting to sound like the Sandman guy in the excavator. Uh, who's that? Oh, God, yes. 
Uh, where the southern accent come from? It comes from all types of places. I wear square toe boots now, so. Uh, what up, John? What up, John? What up, main drug legend? Good to see you, man. Uh, man. Look, Ken Kenworth, you know where Kenworth went right now? Kenworth just went and said, you know what, man? I can't not do it. I need to go watch that video right now. I agree with him. I agree. Totally agree with him. Yeah, guys. So, also, too, because of, obviously, my scuff stream schedule and my game crashing. There it goes. Uh, because of the scuff stream schedule, it will open the door uh, for more YouTube content. Um, this being, you might be like, how does that... How are you able to stream less because you have no time but be able to make more videos? I don't understand. Because usually a video takes me about 20 minutes to 30 minutes to record. So when I get home, I'm able to record it real quick. I can render it, and I actually have a lot of programs where I could have a lot of things do it itself. So once it renders, it goes to the YouTube, and I can set it automatically to release at a certain time. I probably put in about 40 minutes altogether on to finish all the final tops, whereas the stream goes for anywhere between two to three hours with it, and then all of a sudden I get lost in the sauce, and then I'm falling asleep at the wheels. So, um, What's wrong with the square toes? Nothing. That's why I love my square toes. Uh, have a good night, everyone. Kenworth, I love you. you. Go watch that video, Kenworth. You let me know how you love it. The good old 3406B, Kenworth. Hey, Kenworth, too. You asked me. Hey, Kenworth. What the heck are we listening to right now, by the way? What the heck was that? Kenworth, you do me a favor, too. All right. You asked Mr. Dave. Mr. Reckless Dave. How he feels about getting sat down. Sat down by the good old 3406B. All right. Uh, we don't have five grand, by the way. We have three. Uh, so we uh, are not quite there. Uh, but we could get this Peter uh, Kenworth almost. Well, not really. Uh, 100000 for that drug. That seems to be in the price range. I love how I have modded trucks in here. And nothing pops up. A hundred grand for that, that's insane. Uh, that That's more uh, feasible. Uh, I can deal with that, but I don't know if I want to spend all that money on it. I can only take out five. Uh, I can borrow nine, so I have 11 grand. I'm actually almost there. Not really. Kind of, sort of, in a weird way. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to try to stick with uh, Kenworth. Just, oh my God. Not Oh my sweet heavens on earth. No, no, no. Uh <sighs> Maybe not. Jesus. Damn it. The most expensive load is a thousand bucks. Oh, that ain't right. You think the Westerns? Uh, what are the chances? Uh, is this even creative? What up, man? What are the chances of this Western star even has a gypsus? I'm going to go with no. Oh, that's a good ride. 800 miles like that down the, for 848 bucks. It's not bad at all. That ain't bad at all. I take that. Uh, get out the notepad and take the long haul. You're crazy. We'll be here for nine years. Do it. <laughs> what up, Murther? Oh my god. The risk. The risk. Oh, sweet God almighty. Whoa. All right. Good old Peter Carr. I haven't pulled a Peter bit with an RGN. Do it. I love how you made that, uh, I can't see, I can't see anything out here. We're just going to hope to God that the fifth wheel's hooked. Okay. Uh, man. Man. What do we got on here? A harvester? No, a mulcher. Mother trucking Tuesday spiral. All right. Is the real economy still in beta? It is. Yep, yep. Uh, well, he's got two of them, right? He's got a beta one, and he's got a normal one. The beta one is supposed to be, like, hard mode. That's supposed to be the major difference. 
Uh, what do we got? 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 Thirteen. Wow, pretty solid. Why did I put that hammer down? All right. Um, how you doing, Spiral Mike? What's going on, man? Doing good, man. Hope you're doing well. I'm gonna sit on the floor here. Move that on in. Move that on in. Test our break. There it is. All right, it's time to ride. I feel his beta one is more unrealistic than it is realistic. Ah, uh, yeah, there is a little bit more. Like, listen, here's the thing. You're not going to get 100% realism. I don't care what anybody says. It's not going to happen. You're not going to get 100%. The main thing for me is the actual hard mode of it. Like, how difficult it is to get there you know what i mean that's where i am mostly at with it because obviously you know when we post videos if you get a lot of people that go like uh you know it's not really a thousand dollars to go that far you know it's like it's like you can get a thousand dollars to go any closer it's a video game chill your freaking roots man okay just freaking relax go outside please for the love of god you know and like i get it like you have to have some sort of understanding that it is still a game. Chris Palmer, man, appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Listen, I get it. Sometimes it does feel so realistic that I also think it's real life. And I'm like, wait a minute. You know what I mean? Like, hold up. But you don't have to get super crazy into it. You know what I mean? Because here's the reality. You're never going to be perfect. You know why? I'll tell you why. Real simple. Because here's a news flash for everybody. It might come surprising to everybody. Here it is. Ready? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I wanted that. Guess what? Guess what? <gasps> the trucking industry is not even realistic. It's all scoffed. Even in real life. Nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense on why in New Jersey... I can't run a 28-foot trailer because of axle laws, but somehow in Massachusetts, I can run a, t a tandem axle trailer that's 28-foot and run over 100,000 pounds. Are you saying that people in Massachusetts make bridges better than everyone else in the world? No, it's stupid because it's all money. You can never get everything 100%. It's just a fact of the way it is. So you just almost got to sit down, shut up, and enjoy what you got, right? <laughs> That's what I deal with it. What engine mods do you have? Sounds way better than the base game diesel. Uh, this one here that you've been listening to, this is the Serial Black Cummins, exclamation point SB, elusive. Um, and this is his Cummins ISX slash X15. And in fact, this one does in fact replace uh, the stock Cummins sounds. I just feel when it starts to take forever to level up, I just feel people lose interest in it. Yeah, like it is. Oh yeah, hundred percent. It'll it'll make you lose interest in it. But like, here's the thing, though, right? How many people do you know just log in the game, take a photo, and log off? How many people do you know that play the game and they go, oh, "I'm bored, I'm bored." Like, once you get to a point where you've tried so many different things, that's why I have look at all my profiles, man. I have so many different techniques of the game: realistic economy, no GPS. Um, you know, this owner operator, rather, right? Uh, the let's play like I mix it up a lot because I do enjoy playing the game But I like to try to find different niches because once I get tired of playing like oh man, dude I'm tired of leveling up on this account man. It's dragging me out I'll jump over and drive limestone for a little bit man enjoy the ride But then sometimes I'm like ah man like this is too easy game man. I'm like I kind of want it to challenge again boom go right back to it uh, Same thing with like the no gypsus, you know what I mean? Like that's why I, I like to find a good full circle things. You know what I mean? Uh, of things I like and what keeps me uh, involved with it. Because if you guys don't realize, I've been playing this game literally almost for like 15 months straight with you guys. Uh, is there a state that's considered best state for trucking? Nope. <coughs> no. Every state sucks. This trucking sucks. The problem happened in 1989 or 88 when they mandated and they created the CDL. Because the problem is once the government got involved, that was it. Everybody's in the business to make money. And when the government gets involved, it becomes a bigger problem. I got people who've never driven a truck before in their life who sit at home and push a pencil and tell me how to drive my truck. That's my problem. 
and that's just a fact. I'm not trying to be mean or rude or disrespectful. I mean that with all with all due respect. You know, you can't tell me how to drive a truck when you've never driven a truck. It doesn't make sense. You know, that was one of the biggest problems with the ELD. Now, the ELD makes sense. I agree with the ELD. And before someone says, oh, my God, what did you just say? Yeah, it makes sense. Because literally, look, yeah, you really shouldn't be driving that many hours, dude. Relax yourself a little bit. You know what I mean? The pay shouldn't be that cheap. You shouldn't have to run that hard. You should be able to make a decent living. Unfortunately, we don't live in a world that's like that. However, though, I don't think that the ELD should tell me when to stop. And that's what they do. They tell you when to stop, when to drive. That's my problem. Because what if I'm not tired? What if I'm not ready to stop driving? You know what I mean? That's the problem. Um, that's why I, as long as I have my CDL and as long as I drive a truck, I will never drive a truck that requires an ELD. I'll go work at Walmart, McDonald's, Burger King before that ever happens. I don't care. I will never drive a truck that has an ELD. Which state is the worst for trucking after California then? New York and New Jersey. Whatever happens in California trickles down to New York. Here's the problem, right? So whatever happens in California trickles over to New York because they're always in a banter to see who can make everyone's lives worse and any type of business that they do. And then the problem is, is that In New Jersey, we're such a melting pot where there's so many people that go in and out of the New York and all that, that a lot of what trickles down from New York goes into New Jersey. But the problem is, is that you're taking a state that is like so big here and New York, that is a state that is so big here, which means their economies and their, you know, economic like statutes are so much different. And then you have New Jersey, which only has 9 million people. And then you're trying to do it there. And it's just like, kind of thing. I know that's a lot. You guys like that? That's trailer trucking right there. <laughs> Yo, I love the Screech. The Screech, I think, I think SCS absolutely killed it with the Screech. The screeching tire sounds makes it totally such a better game. When you screech the tires and you really don't know exactly what's gonna happen, it's nuts. That that's that that right there, that uh, that is literally the best. That is awesome. That is that is freaking hysterical. <sighs> Little iced tea. Need smoking skin marks next. Dude, how funny is that, man? Uh, everyone's like, oh my god! <laughs> Back out of her, driver. Back out of her. I like bubba tea. Never heard of bubba tea. Bubba tea? I just like iced tea. Decaffeinated. Sweet lemonade. Lemon. Lemon iced tea? Lemon. Lemon. Uh, Lemon. I like lemon. Good old lemon iced tea. I can't tell if my lights are flickering or not. Or if the actual whole game is flickering. I alt tabbed to show Kenworth my beautiful video of my B model cat, and the game is not happy ever since then. What up, Nightbot? Enjoying the stream? I am. I appreciate you. Gotta watch our fuel here. They gave us a truck that is low on fuel. What up, Supercar King? Kind of scuffed, isn't it? Oh, man.
What's going on, man? How's it going? It's going good. Bubba tea is made of tea, milk, water, sugar, and tapioca pearls. Ice sweet milky tea is given a good uh, cocktail style shake after which tapioca pearls are added. Typical versions use black, green, or oolong tea, although recently more flavors and types have appeared. That is a term straight out of Google. Would you guys believe me if I told you that this is Mrs. Modded's one of her favorite songs? I don't know if you guys can even hear it yet. This is literally one of the Mrs.'s favorite songs. My name is Uh, that is a fun fact. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she used to play this a lot with softball and stuff. Like, before, like, she would get, like, pumped up or something or in the gym. Oh, yeah. Takes me and Dave back to our high school days. Uh, that would take all three of us there, buddy. You're not ancient. Why have any answers? The midnight vintage and topless dancers. Oh, yeah. I wasn't allowed to listen to it. <laughs> uh, my, I was a sheltered child. <laughs> my mom, like my mom, thought it was a very inappropriate song. Meanwhile, I'm in my room like this. Yeah. So get in the pit. I'm trying to love someone. I was graduating when you was a baby, seventh or eighth grader. Yeah, I was maybe in eighth grade, but I still towered you. I mean, you're what, 5'3"? I'm still six foot in eighth grade. Anyway, I learned the guitar chords of this song. Did you really? I believe I was in seventh or eighth grade. Yeah, Dark Mike. Man, Dark Mike. Look at Tally trying to make fun of us. You know what I mean? Just got to sit him down, you know? these kids all day long. So get in the pit and try to love someone. Where? 80s kids are cooler, right, Dave? So again, let's have the chat decide, okay? Uh, if we do recall, this is 90s, right? That's 90s, and this is Chris and Dave. So, again, you know, we have, you know, um, I guess we have, like, the 90s, right? You know what I mean? We got, you know, 90s, right? 90s, this is, this is, this is where we're all at. And then you got Dave and Chris. Hey, Chris. It's me, Dave. Hey, Dave. It's me, Chris. Listen, okay? It was not in sync. It was the Backstreet Boys. All right? All right? But however, though, I will... Listen, we all can't touch the 70s, okay? I mean, clearly, we were all here in the beginning of the stream. I mean, come on, right? You can't touch it, okay? You just can't touch it. However, though, however, just can't. Look, it just, it just gets you going, man. You know what I mean? Just, man, it's my walk. Can't, 
can't right now. Oh, God. Let's take it back to 1976. Trucks were cool. Chris was a whole lot cooler. Oh, Kenworth. This song's for you, brother. This song's all for you. John, man. You gotta, you gotta drop that Prime sub. I see you with that Prime Gaming, bro. Become part of that Super Trucker Club. Oh, Matt P. 2026. Coming down the big road, man. We do appreciate the follow, man. Welcome to the Hammerhead community, man. Glad to have you here, brother. Uh, what up, what up, what up? What is happening? Life. Life is happening, okay? Uh, that's what's happening, Supercar King. You don't ever have to ask it. Just embrace it, okay? Just embrace it, all right? You know what I mean? Just embrace it. Just do it. Yeah. Come on. I, who, I vote. I vote when we do. Listen, I vote when we do, like, the no GPS streams. I vote that we listen to straight up 70s and 80s music. <laughs> One in the chat, if that's what's up. A little bit of Sherry Sherry later right now. That we all just like, you know, no GPS going down the road. Just getting lost. <laughs> just straight up getting lost. Or everybody's favorite. Everybody's favorite. Yo, man, I got playlists for days, man. Playlists for days. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ain't nobody back in time. Is this not trucking music? Listen. Don't let him tell you it's not. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you something. It's, I'll tell you something right now. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. And you're driving down that big road. And, uh, you know, you just need a moment. And you need a good, you know what I mean? Just a good old, good old fashioned vibe. Ah. And then all of a sudden you start going around a bend as the dog's barking at the neighbors. And then you're going around the bend wondering if you're going to flip over. And what you do with this song, too, is when you're going down the road, you take your headlights. Watch this. This is what you do. Ready? That's what you do in real life. I'm telling you. You do, you do that in real life, it's going to really change the way that you, uh, you know, the way that you, uh, the way that you drive. It's really going to make your experience a lot of fun. Trust me. Trust me, I'm a professional. Uh, that isn't what you want to hear at 3 a.m. Let me tell you something. It very well, very could well be, little boss. I've listened uh, to some very interesting things at 3 a.m. that I used to love. <laughs> I got to turn off the lights of the beat. That's right. What's up, Bob? Man, man, that's quick stop. Uh, that's when 15 Red Bulls kick in you and bud. <laughs> or I get the random Snapchat, uh, from George of, uh, what's that, uh, what's that Roses song? Uh, Two Dozen Roses. Shenandoah. Swear there ain't nothing looks better than that. Found everything they want to do. Yes, or Barbie Girl. Yes. In my defense, though, the other day, I, th I think I posted it on Modded. I think I posted it on Modded on the Instagram. I was listening to Limp Bizkit at like 5 in the morning. <laughs> I have a big ring of fire, good old Johnny. I disagree. Country music is the vibe. Country is the vibe. That's just a given. We gotta 
and game plan. I'm just ready to ride this Chevy, ride this Chevy down a little back road. When I let someone up, I'm in a little juice, I'm turning up my radio. Yo, T says you need an inspection on your truck. I knew, Matt, you look familiar. What's that, Matt? Your 17th account? What'd you say? Your last one got banned or something, Matt? What happened? Now I know who you are. Yes, my other account did get banned. Brother. Brother. Mr. Simi Dad! Appreciate that, man. Four month resub, man. Dude, guys, get some sub hypes in the chat. Get some love. Or Simi Dad. Welcome back to the Super Trucker Club, my friend. Dangerous. That's dangerous. There we go. What up, Jay Goose? Good to see you, man. How you doing, brother? You need to upgrade my Thrustmaster pedals. Need the TI um, sucks my racing G ones. As soon as you push a lot, it goes to 100. Oh damn! Really? Yeah, you might have to. Uh Get that squared away. What dealership's here? Why does it seem like the lights keep flickering? Is that just me? I think the game's flickering. Let me pull in here real quick. I think I, I think I scuffed the game. I think I scuffed the game when I all tabbed. I always hate alt tabbing. I would resub, but my prime gaming is not is not what? Letting you? Alright, let me test this out. Keep camming your prayers, heading to play catch again. Oh, God. Jesus, Lord in heaven. Did you have damage on your truck? Negative. Uh, you know what I'm going to try, though, too, real quick, guys? Because a few guys were saying that there was no issues with Snowy Moon. Maybe something scuffed. I don't know. Let me see. 18 hours ago. Uh, oh, that's why. Uh, what? So Snowy Moon is now paid. Is that is that the idea now? It, that that's the whole thing now, right? Uh, American Troubleshooting Simulator. True that, bro. Game ran good this morning. I'm doing a lot of flickering. Yeah, I get a lot of flickering, man. Uh, ATS TAA version 9. That's what daddy wants. That's what Big Poppy wants right now. They have 42. Click, click, boom. Uh, click, click, boom. Do I still need to get a license? Uh, it's pay now, just FYI. 
I've been a supporter since day one, pitcher, okay? Come on now. And this is amateur hour. It's a dollar. What's going on, Mr. GMC? What happened? Uh, I must be getting ready for 150, I hope. Yeah, right. Uh, no, my game was flickering, so I'm going to restart, because I alt tab, so I was going to restart the game. But, um, I deleted Snowy Moon earlier because Snowy Moon was being a pain in my buttocks. And now I'm going to see about updating, uh, the file. That's all. So I'm going to, where's my Snowy Moon license? There you are. Just in case I need the license. All right, let's check this out. There you go, play it. Da -da. What up, GMC? Good to see you, man. Uh, where the hell is Snowy Moon video? Asking for a friend. Uh, well, I'm going to ask you this real quick. Do you have it? Because it is a paid now, but I don't really... So here's the thing. Uh, honest to God. On, honest question here, John. So, John, you might be looking for the video. Okay, right? What exact... I, I got to ask, though. What are you looking for in the video? That, that's an honest question. Like, what, what is someone... I'm asking for a friend. If someone wanted to see a, per se, Snowy Moon video, what exactly are you looking for? Snowy Moon works, by the way. Clarity. Access beige. Um, because it's not as intense. What file do I put it in? You literally put it in your win uh, folder. I think it tells you, too. Like, you go to your um, American Truck Simulator Steam, right, where your Steam is. Uh, you go to there. You go to, like, uh, Common Apps, American Truck Simulator, Win64, Bin. Right there. Right there. It goes right yonder. Um, and it's just literally just two files. Um, but um, it's literally just Boom. But like, I didn't know if people wanted an idea of like this stuff because here's the here's the biggest disclaimer, right? The snowy like like yeah, this is my personal opinion. Some people might see it differently. Like on this profile here, yeah, on a bone stock profile, it will change it up a little bit, right? But. <laughs> Big John, now he's going to fight Dave. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dave's like, wait a minute, does it really say it in the instructions? Now, anyway, um, like on a bone stock profile, yeah, I see a difference. But if I'm running like JBX and PNG and all that, like, meh. But again, too, like, I'm one of those two. I don't follow the rules of this, right? Like, people will tell you, oh, you can't have your graphics high and that all. Like, I max this shiz out, dude. I don't care. I know what the things say. This is what I do. This is how I roll it. Oh, you're not going to see a difference. It changes it. Don't matter. My game looks crisp. That's what it looks like. It might work for some. It might not work for others. Like, a lot of times, too, uh, where is it? My shadow quality is ultra. I'll put that at 12,000. And people are like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I put it at 12,000. It runs smooth, looks good. I don't have any problems, no hesitation, no nothing. I don't know why it just does it. But you know, uh, you know, it, I'm like on the fence with it. But like, the biggest thing though, people need to understand though, is that it will make you lag if you don't have a decent PC too. Like, you can't just sit here and run everything on max if you have like a because that's another thing too because there will be people who use it and they go like oh man i was lagging like crazy well it is enhanced it's trying to push the game so you will you can get lag people do but you'll see now there's a difference here in the game if i turn on and off ready watch you'll see like look around the truck area right look here look out towards the trees look at the back of the truck and towards the trees i'll throw it on real quick it just cleans it up. It's nothing absolutely like, wow, but it can create lag. Because I have to say that because people will lag and then they come in the comment section on the YouTube side and they freak out. 
But, yeah, you should be fine. I'm not saying you in general. But I have to say because there will be people who are maybe running like a 970 GTX or something. Or old 1070 card or something. And then all of a sudden, like, if they lag with something, they're like, oh, I didn't know. But, again, it's a dollar. So you're not going to really miss out. I mean, it's it's a dollar. It's nothing crazy. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's, it's, it's worth to check it out. Sure, without a doubt. Um, but I wouldn't... I had to make a right here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, could run max things two years ago. My 27 is pretty damn new. Not now. Well, you still can. The problem is, is that... See, the problem is, is that all the modders are pushing the game to its absolute limits. Like, legitimately to the limit. And that's why, like, when people, too, like... When they comment, like, on my, my uh, video about the settings, right... The, people don't understand. It's the game cannot physically understand what happens over 60 FPS. Like, yes, I can sit here and get 500 frames per second. Yes, that's not doing anything. It's not understanding 440 of them. But it's just the way because the game cannot. It's basically like the imagine. <laughs> Imagine the game is someone from England and they go over to China and now they need to learn Mandarin. Right? Your graphics card is Mandarin. You're the Englishman. <laughs> it just can't get it yet. You know what I mean? That That's the problem. And eventually, as time goes on and things upgrade, then what will actually happen is to a lot of people, you might be able to run the game a lot smoother because now you're actually being able to use more of what you have instead of being bottlenecked. Yo, what up there, Mr. Bud? Good to see you, man. Uh, it's just the way he went about it being paid. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I just got the emails. I, To be honest with you, I didn't read them. I didn't see really too much about it. But, I mean, I know he wants to do other games too and everything else, and I mean... I seen what he was saying about with his work and everything else. So, you know, if he wants to get paid for his work, I mean, it's only rightly fair, I guess, right? Uh, as long as you balance the mods and settings, will run smooth. That's right. Uh, what's up, Governor? To be honest, though, I didn't really read anything else about it into it. I got emails about it that he wanted to go paid, but what up there, BSC Melons? Hello to you, my friend. Click, click, boom! Oh, God. Come on, come on. Uh, how's the trailer today? Keeping away from the AI? Uh, we had an incident on the 80 earlier, but pretty good now. Making cookies, because Lizard wants some cookies, so dad provides. Uh, Kibayu. Yeah, righty. We had an incident on 80. However, though, um, you know, the, the creator of GDC edited the mod. And I don't know if it's for the good or the, or the bad. But I can get into an accident and I won't get a ticket unless there's a cop around. So, I mean, I had a small fender bender involving about 32 and a half vehicles on Route 80. Uh, and I didn't get a ticket for it. Kind of scuffed. But I'm not going to go too crazy about it, you know what I mean? I'm not going to be totally upset. I noticed that as well yesterday. I had a car T-bone my trailer. Yeah, like, it's a little weird. Like, I'm kind of, like, mad about it. You know what I mean? Again, like, I'm I'm really just kind of going towards, like, just the idea of, like, yeah, the loads cost nothing. Let me see how far it'll take me before I go broke without trying to. I'm not, like, basing it off of 100% realization because it's not. I mean, like... It is and it isn't with some things, but like, 
I said this once before too with like the truck dealership mod. It's not. It's not. It's not. You're not gonna find a W9 for your listen. Even if this truck had no engine or transmission, this right here is a newer Kenworth. You're never gonna find it for 15 grand, even with 1.1 million. That's not happening. That's not. Whether or not you have to put 20 can't crate 24,000 into it, you're still not finding it that cheap. Uh, even if it has a motor and trans, it's just not happening. So, like, I have to, you know, be leaning on when I say, like, how realistic, because I do have the people that come in and they're like, it is in the realm of good. That is correct there, BC Melons. Yes, yes, yes. But when I do the T boning, it is uh, even better. I run an I4, 5, 6, 4 GT, 12 gear RAM. So I'm still run good, not great, but I'll only get so my game looks better, not for FBS. There you go. Uh, Tall the mic from Mac Trail. Oh. Yeah, but. Is it still there? Is it for sale? We're in talking code right now. Is it still for? Is it for? Um, is it for sale? Oh. And this is all yellow, right? Pay for the caver is freight shaker and still stuck like 20k into it. Yeah, it's the end. Like I said, I like the ideas, the ideas are there. I, I can't knock the idea, man, because no one else is doing it, right? I like that someone's putting in the effort to try to get to that point. But the problem is that we live in a world where everyone has to nitpick. Um, and people just don't understand, still, like, you know, people need to appreciate. Here's the big thing, right? This is what people need to do. First of all, this is not a real truck. I know this is like a big shock to everyone. Like, <gasps> no, it's not. Unfortunately, this is a video game. Okay. It's not the real thing. <gasps> no, I know. But it's a game. It is not real. So when someone is trying to do something to better the game and to try to simulate something that would be real, you're, you, it's a game. So you know you're never going to get 100% because the game is not 100% real. But what you need to do is appreciate the, 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 the work and effort in trying to get to it. That, that's what I do, right? Like, for example, the Moza wheel. Everyone's so ranting and raving about the Moza wheel. They keep saying, oh, it's the Moza truck wheel. It's the Moza truck wheel. A truck wheel don't look like that. But, you know, even the smart wheels in America, they don't. It's more of a European style. But I, I like the fact that they're trying to get there into that idea of it, right? Just because it's not 100% doesn't mean I don't appreciate, you know, because you're not going to get a real actual, you know what I mean, set up like it is on the newer trucks. But the idea that it's trying to get there, right? The realistic economy, no. Yeah, I know that, you know, your dad or your brother or your sister took a load of, uh, of steel and they got paid more to go less miles. I get that. I understand what you're saying. But this is a game. You know, they're just trying to make it seem like so we have an idea of kind of the BS that maybe they had to go through to do such a load or do whatever. Or to understand how bad the rates really are, though, in a lot of situations. We're going to swing wide for the middle one. Ugh. And boom. Fill it up, Baco. Fill it up. <sighs> Fill it up. Huh. 
I 100% agree. It's cool that they're getting closer they can with the system they have. Yeah. I think I blew up my PC. Probably. Why? Why do you think you blew up the PC? Why does one think he blew up said PC? Green keeps going green and restarting. Oh. Well, that seems very peculiar. Dave is really going to have a timeout? Oh, yeah. Dave's usually in trouble 90% of the time. No more farm sim for Dave. No, 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 no. No moss farm sim for the Dave. Ah, uh, yes. The song of the people. What up, steady game? Good to see you, man. What you say there, Dave? Speak. What you say? I, I, I will not. Oh, I'll not rest until it's fixed. I got gotcha. you. Uh, just wrapping up some work. Ten ball. Ten ball. Beer in Texarkana. We are headed down to Flagstaff, Arizona. Coming across from Reading, we're just shooting down the old 99er. Doing 70 mile an hour in the old double nickel state. Just kind of cruising down, trying to get out of here before the sun comes up. Get over here for a nice whopping 848 doll hairs, which will bring us about a little shy of four grand. Still not going to give us anywhere near the five grand that we're looking for. I get, well, I'll have to see on what truck to add in here. As the sun rises, what I tell you guys, I told you guys about 40 minutes later, this was going to happen. The yawns are coming in. The third wind is coming down to an end. Bound job. Watch your little band aid run. <laughs> Doing some trucking on my realistic profile, and I'm nearing the end of a thousand mile trip from Oxnard, California to Arctisha, New Mexico. Oh, good God. Oh, good thing we gotta get off. Man. How many pots of coffee did you have today, Mike? Nah, not a lot. Uh, that coffee I just finished. That is number three of the day. Three cups. So I have one in the morning. Um, I have one in the morning at like three in the morning. I stop at this one gas station. I get one there. And then I get a big old 24 ounce. 
and I basically milk that. I go out, dump my load, grab another one, come back to uh, the homeland, dump that, and then I get my second coffee. And that second coffee will last me until I get in the yard. 224 ounces, so what's that, 48 ounces? Or is that, yeah, 48? Uh, you a black coffee guy? No, dead. Oh my god, almighty. No, I had, uh, I have to add the creamers, man. If you like to run external contracts, they have much higher rates than the in-game loads. Oh, really? I don't think I can. I can't even do that. I didn't set that up for this, Provo. Is that how everyone's cheating? <laughs> um... Ow, oh, crack. My elbow just cracked. He's like, wait a minute, I'm not cheating. That Christmas edition Starbucks was pretty good. Oh, yeah. I've been getting loads for 371 per mile. Good God, good God. What's nice about those, though, is you could act like, listen, honestly, what's nice about those is you could actually make that kind of realistic. Because those loads are real time. So like if I picked that, like if I picked one of those loads up tonight, and I didn't go like live tomorrow, then we like lose that load. It's like kind of scuffed. Um, but the best call we ever had was the Turkish sand call me. Jesus Lord. I haven't had Starbucks in a few days. Uh, I'm back to grace you all with my presence. We welcome you back. We welcome you back. Much obliged, much obliged. Yeah, we have a, a place over here called Wawa. Wawa. Which would be like a 7-Eleven style place, basically. But more upscale. Oh, come on, it's gonna get the arrow first, too. I never could stand the taste of coffee. Not many people can. Red. Twenty five extra loads, and I got the first place in my truck books. VTC. I don't know where I rang him out of transport, though. Roger. Are you in or anywhere else, anywhere near Newark, Mike? Uh, I'm both Jersey and Delaware, yep. I've been, well, obviously I'm in Delaware side of things now, but I was close to uh, the one in Jersey as well. I call it Newark. People down here call it Newark. Drives me nuts. Kung Fu team. I'll check it out. Dover, Delaware. That's just the name on the door. Just the capital of Delaware. Now all of a sudden he's like, wait a minute. Ooh, here it comes. It's coming, ladies and gentlemen. It's coming. It's coming. We are having such a great time at the beginning of the stream with a little bit of uh, Bee Gees. And now the Bee Gees want to go to Sleepsies. We have so many miles to do. Oh my God, look at that sunrise. You know what really messed me up too is the time change. Time change totally scuffed me. My brain is still running out. I've been awake since basically midnight, man. 12, 31 o'clock last night. Took me three days to get Mod Guard on my PC. Antivirus are not shut off until I cussed a lot and walked away and it finally worked. I hear that. Overtime? Nah, normal time. 
Nah, it's just normal. That's, that's normal trucking. Tyra might to go Betty time? Yeah, shortly. Very, very shortly. OT equals overtime? Yeah, I know what overtime is. We don't get it, though. That's just a normal... About 15 hours is a normal trucking day. That ain't overtime. You don't get paid overtime. Connor coming down the big road, man. Appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Ham Rig community, brother. Glad to have you here. Read my comment again, my brain. My brain definitely running on OT. Overtime. Yeah, oh, I got, oh, yeah, I got you now. See, my, my brain's not even running. My 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 brain's not even running. How you doing, Connor? Welcome. My brain's not even there. We uh, the rain. My brain has left the building uh, indefinitely right now today. We're gonna hit this guy. Some good music. Ooh. A little rhythm of love. Went to bed already? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the time change totally messed me up, man, big time. I was not prepared for that at all. And then what scuffed me even more was this morning i don't know why i thought i was gonna get like the extra hour nah man totally wrong because i got in the car and then i saw that the car is at like 12 50 and i was like are you freaking kidding me man ow can't deal with these peeps man No problem, California. Thank you. 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 12.50 at night? Yes, sir. Yeah, I leave every day about 1 o'clock in the morning. 1, 1 1.30 a.m. Go to work. Get my truck. Leave the yard by 2.15, 2.30. Truck them up all day. Come home. And now I'm here in a virtual truck. Uh, oh my god. I mean, oh. Yeah, it totally messed me up. It actually messed me up too yesterday, like when we woke up. And I was like, ah, oh, man, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. You know, it was like 9 o'clock in the morning. And then we were doing something else or something. I'm like, ah, oh, it ain't bad. It's 10 o'clock. And then I'm like, I literally just, you know, look at my phone. I'm like, oh my god, it's 11 o'clock. Where's the day gone? Do you like trucks? <laughs> not, not, not much, but. A little bit. I don't know. I mean, I wish they paid, but all our clocks changed automatically. Never even noticed until you said it. Even your, uh, well, I didn't notice until like the dishwasher, or not the dishwasher, uh, the stove. The stove is, you know, manual. Stove, microwave, stuff like that. We gotta get the trucks ready for this weekend. This weekend we have a St. Patrick's Day parade. So we're gonna get the trucks all uh, polished up and such on Friday and Saturday. And the parade is Sunday. When did you, when did time change recently? Sunday, yesterday. Time changes every time uh, around like Saturday uh, into Sunday around uh, 2, th 2 o'clock-ish in the morning. The clock move ahead an hour every all now? Yeah, you spring forward, you fall back, yeah. Yeah, spring, you go forward, fall, you fall back. It's like, really, right now, it should be, you know, 516. 
but it's really but you know it says on my thing that it's 616 I wish they would get rid of it yeah it's kind of stupid and then they try to make it political like I could care less like literally a monkey could tell me what you know I just don't want to do it anymore I could really care less who's in office to tell me yes or no I just don't want it they could be a giraffe for all I care Yo, TMHW Gaming coming in, guys, with a prime sub. Get some sub hypes in the chat. Welcome to the Super Trucker Club, big guy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you a part of it. Welcome, brother. Uh, don't they don't they say they do the time change of the kids in school or something? Nah. At the end of the month we move the clock. Yo, Grim Ninja, we'll catch you on the flipper, man. Hope you have yourself a good rest of your night, brother. Oh. There we go. A little California dream. Are you a fan of the time change? Me personally? I am. Just wondering. Negative. Nope. Could care less about it. Don't need it. You know, everyone likes to say the same excuse. Uh, but the sun stays up later. How we get more sunshine? Yeah, well, when you drive a truck, you go to work in the dark, you come home in the dark. It don't matter. I don't see the sun, period. You know, that's just the, that's the cold, hard truth. It is what it is on my end, man. That's what my wife says, though. I get to see more sun, more daylight. Uh, right lane's closed. Or left lane's closed. That's scuffed. Except for now, like obviously now I'm almost bright out, but uh, in the summer we have a midnight sun. Yeah, no thanks, bro. I'm good. I would never. You could never pay me to live somewhere like that. You got a better chance of seeing a higher power. On such a summer day. All right, let me see here. Whoa, that's not what I want. I want F6. Uh, we are not going to make it. We need to sleep. Great. Sun goes down here at 10 in the summer? Yeah, no thanks, man. I'm good. I need the sun to go down at like 8 o'clock. I think the latest it goes is like 8.39. It's like way too late for me, too. <laughs> I mean, it's nice, but... I like bomb virus, so it works for me. Yes, sir. Well, like the sun goes down at 10 o'clock, right? And I gotta be up in two and a half hours. What's the difference? I can never live in a place where they get consecutive days of pure darkness or sunlight. Yeah, you'll never catch me dead in Alaska. Stop yawning, you're making me yawn. It's not me yawning. It's actually the game yawning, which is making me yawn, which is making you yawn. Which means we need, whoa, God damn it. The plane just scared the shiz out of me. Holy good God, man. Game. That was the game. And now it's me. <sighs> now it's me. And now it'll be you guys. So, scuff driver. What a scuff driver, man. 
Look at the container hauler. Oh, Lord in heaven. There's a way station. And we got the green apple. Nice sleep here. I love to Baton Rouge. I got a mail to I don't got a mail to There's one more time. Yeah! I think they change the times so you can see Christmas lights and it's better in the winter. That's right. Uh, that's your cue. Like, if a plane in the game is scaring you, it's time, dude. I'm, I'm like there, bro. Like, the, the head's getting heavy. The back, the eyes. It would not be the first time I fell asleep at a computer. It would not be the first and will definitely not be the last. Calm Baton Rouge. Everybody now. Operator, will you send me on through? Gonna put my love to Baton Rouge. Gonna send my love to Baton Rouge. Can't say I've done that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Chris has been a part of it. I don't know if Dave has been a part of it. I know Chris has. Like, I mean, I asked out, dude. I was out like a light. Sometimes I pass out. Like, the problem is, like, this chair I spent a lot of stupid money on that didn't mean anything. And I do find the chair very comfortable. So sometimes after a long day, I'll come in and just sit in the chair for a minute. And I'm like, wow, this feels like really comfortable on the old buttocks. And the next thing you know, I'm waking up in my bed. Just the way she crooky crumbles, you know. But there'd be times like I'd pop in a Discord chat real quick with my admins and um, give them a little like lowdown or just like shoot the shiz for a bit, and I'm like, done. But I'm actually really surprised. I wanted to come on really a lot today, but um, I'm really surprised that I haven't made it this far because literally last night I only got three hours of sleep, so. I literally went to bed at 11 o'clock and left my house at 1.45, so. I don't see it coming. I go see the warning signs. What's the chair? It's just a DX racer, King Series. Oh, no, the wild sign. I guess mama was right. Cause when the car struck me at night, go around the lightning, feel the thunder, till the darkness pulls me under. That's my typical bedtime. I'm gonna go until five. Well, by the time you wake up at five o'clock, brother, I'm already getting loaded with my second load for the day. When you call me home, I'm gonna ride the lightning, ride the lightning, yeah, yeah. Hello everyone. Gonna ride the lightning, ride the thunder, till the darkness pulls me under. Gonna fly on wings of fire, till the Lord takes me higher. Singing of when they call me home. Singing of when they call me home Gonna ride the lightning, ride the lightning, ride the lightning Yo, what up, Viking Hammer? Good to see you, man. How you doing, man? What up, Jalen? Good to see you as well. Are we doing good, brother? Feel the thunder till the darkness pulls me under. Gonna fall asleep so quickly when my head hits that pillow sweetly. Gonna shut my eyes tonight. Gonna shut my eyes tonight. Gonna sleep all night. GT, Jitsi 2, sir. What, what, what? Good to see you too, sir. Oh, wow. Look at that. I learned that acronym real quick. I'm great. Can't complain. Good to hear, man. You going to the truck show more than just this year? 
Uh, you going to the truck show more than just this year? What? Are you asking, am I going to go again? To the truck show, like, the following year? Oh, my God. Yo, Crip. Crip coming down the big road, man. Appreciate the follow-up. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you here. Uh, yeah, man, I'll be going over here. You sure did a uh, download quicker than I did? Do it quicker than I did. That's right. <whistles> yeah, now nah, I'll be on there, everyone. And like I said, man, like the big goal of all of this, too, as the year goes on is to go on my own buy my own truck again build it on the channel have you guys be a part of it that's where all the support from the streams are going to be going and everything goes to all the subs the, the donations the coffee all that i've been saving up trying to go ahead and build a rig here for the hammerhead community uh i'm going to record all of it as well and then you know work the truck as an owner operator irl and then be able to go to these places like the truck shows in louisville iowa florida all over so you guys can come out see the truck go for a ride do the whole nine man i'd love to love to be able to put something together like that train baby one of them locomotive just not this year yeah cabby cabby Freight train, baby. Uh, what truck do you want to build with what motor and trans? Uh, I mean, ideally, it would be something that would look like limestone, right? You know, or, or potentially something maybe even new we could build as a community. You know what I mean? Some kind of idea we could put pen to paper. Whether it be a Peterbilt or a Kenworth, doesn't matter. You know, I'd, I'd like to have, you know, everyone's input on it. But definitely a 13 speed. Freight train, baby. You know what I need to do on this profile too? We need to take a photo for the uh, thumbnail so when I get this uploaded on the channel. There we go. Uh, this point, Limestone is an icon on the channel. It's true that. I found a 359 for sale in Kentucky and I want it. That's right. This is Kingman Beware, duly noted. Free train. Had a nine speed in an old cat. That's right. I like a nine speed. Nine speed ain't bad. I have a lot of people that use that one on me. That's right.
I'm losing my mind there. Uh, 20 hours from me here to the truck show. Oh, wow, that's a nice little ride. It's about 10 for me. It was a day cab over for a flat top, and I like I was going to be able to buy it anyway. Ah, don't sell yourself short. You caught on hella quicker, but I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I know, man. I don't know why. I just happened to look at it, and I'm like, yeah, that makes sense if that was what he meant. Might be a waste of money, but I plan to buy a P379 from the late 90s and turn it into big red. Ain't a waste of money at all. No way. I want to finish this load. We got about 20 miles. I am determined to finish this. Even if the EL day tells me I'm over my hours. We are almost the Flagstaff. Oh, shh, Nikes, we're right here. Stay awake, Mike! As we get that ready to go pull it into the Lieber. Finally made it to a Lux Cruises. Uh, it is 109 miles Artesia. Very nice, man. So you guys always know too how I tease you guys with some interesting stuff. I feel like I should tease you guys with one more thing here tonight before we get off. I'm gonna roll on in here though, guys, ever so gently. Green, oh, I'll take it on the angle. Hey, buddy, there it is. Detach, baby, get rid of that trailer. That's right. Nice. 2,000 XP almost, though. Wow. We really have a lot way to go. 150,000 to go. But 3,900, guys. 3,900. Our monies is going up. And let's see what load we'll take for tomorrow. Or Wednesday, I should say. Uh, we'll take the shorty. 742. Yeah. So we'll do this one on Wednesday, my guys. We're going to move this big old nine axle with the Kenny. However, though, however, I will show you guys something. That is a secret to some. I will end you guys with this. A little something, a little bit of tweaks, a little bit of love that I've been showing. Showing some great interest in trying to get to work properly. They're hidden out there, but they are not edited to my standards of the way they should be edited. Edited, edited, edited. But I'm going to show you a little something here. A little something, uh, a little something, something. Ah, oh, the game crashed. It was not ready for it. We're going to have to wait in high suspense for yet another moment in time. It says there was a cloud conflict. Why does ATS have a cloud conflict? A cliff. Come on, ATS. Resync. Oh, it's not Tuesday. 
Really, my guy? Are you kidding me? This right here is ATS, baby. Nope. You hear that noise? It will not. We'll do it that way then. Screw you, game. We win. We will win, not you. Show you guys this. Now, this is very, very interesting. Not many have seen this, what we're about to show you. The suspense is high. Uh, here it is here. Load the autosave. ATS at its finest. It's fine. It's coming. All right, hold on. Oh, Trucky. Oh, my God. Trucky and all your beautiful stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Now, is Kenworth still in the chat? Kenworth, are you still floating around? Kenworth? Kenworth, are you there? Kenworth. Kenworth. My good friend, Kenworth. Direct one, baby. Direct two, direct three, direct four, direct five. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Bam! To the dash for 15. Now, you might say, Mike, we saw that. You did. Ladies and gentlemen, you did. But I got a question for you. Did you see all these? Yeah, that's right. Got something cooking. Super 10 speed, anybody? 9 double L, 9 speed, 8 double L, 7 speed? Oh, yeah. It's coming. It's coming. Drag and drop. Boom. One shot. It's coming. They are out there. They are hidden about. They are hidden out there. However, though, like, for example, this one here uh, is edited because it is not really... It is a low, low, but it is a direct gear. So I changed the numbering to direct. So it's a DR gear. Then direct gear. So I always tell you guys, too, a good way to explain this is to actually show you on a 15. There goes my water bottle. So, you got, where's the splitter? You got that splitter there, the black one, right? And then you have the gray button here, right? So you have two splitters. Now, we all know the front splitter here in the front is gonna be your high and low, right? So on a 10 speed, you have first gear, if you flip that up, you have six gear, right? Because you're on the high side. 15 speed. This little splitter button here actually works as a high low. And you're probably like, wait, what? That's how a 15 speed is. 15 speeds, you can go to the basement. So, who's making it? Serial black? Nope. It's different. Nope, nope, nope. Now watch. Zero Black's got something else going on. I can't reply. I can't. There's something else with him. I can't say. But no, nope. This is someone else. Now, this. Well, the original files are someone else's that got lost in the eight years 
uh, that ATS has been out, but um, they've been open sourced, I guess you could say, in a sort of speak. But then I found some of them. Then him and I went back and forth with a few things. I sent him a few. He sent me a few, and then he's got other stuff going on. But we got we got some good old love stuff. Now, this right here, by flipping this forward, it allows me to go into the basement. Direct drive one, direct drive two, three, four, and five, which would be the five extra gears on a 10 speed to get you 15. However, though, direct drive four, is the same as third gear. Listen very carefully. We're gonna pull out here. And this is like some of the things I'm tweaking. I'm in direct drive three. We also have 100,000 pounds in the back of this thing. Now watch, watch. Direct drive three, direct drive four. I'm gonna come out of the basement by flipping my switch. And I'm gonna go put it back in the third. See how they're the same gear? Fourth. Fifth. baby. Big old Jake break. By the way, this is the, uh, what is it, 3406B? Love the way this thing sounds. Let's see if I can shift this pretty quick. Put this in the center here, you guys can see the gears. God, I can't wait to drive a 15 speed every day, man. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Fourth, direct drive five, direct drive four, three, one. Little fun stuff there. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, got some cool stuff coming. Uh, we'll be live again on Wednesday. Uh, we'll be live probably here. Uh, actually, you know what? Um, you guys want to do a building drive on Wednesday? Let me know. Um, what I'll do is, uh, after the stream right here, I'll put a poll in the chat, or I'm going to put a poll, uh, in the Discord general chat, and I'm going to just put, like, listen, I'm going to learn how to do it the proper way, but we're going to put a, a poll in the chat out on Wednesday, you want to do a build and drive, or if you want to do owner operator, I'm kind of feeling the vibe of a uh, build and drive, um, and then given on the results of said poll, uh, tomorrow I will post up. Uh, you know, where we're going to pick what truck we're going to do. Uh, Nico, appreciate the follow, man. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you a part of it, man. Glad to, glad to have you a part of it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, let's, let, let's end this with a cool old song, man. I love this song, man. Such a, such a working song there. Such a trucker song. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for us today. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. Guys are the best damn community. Guys, appreciate all of the uh, appreciate all the coffee tips, the resubs, the new subs, the follows. 
guys are absolute beasts. We got love for the Hammerhead community. There you go. Throw some deuces in the chat. I like that, man. Throw some deuces in the chat. We will catch you guys on Wednesday. Tomorrow, uh, video drops on the YouTube over with the Let's Play of the vanilla version of America Truck Simulator. Guys, that is going to do it for me today. I am going to go hit the pillow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even eating dinner tonight. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I got to go trucking tomorrow. Um, if you guys haven't followed already on the Instagrams, man, Modded ATS, the Mike Pet, we post, I post up a lot of IRL stuff over there. So if you guys want to watch and live the lifestyle, man, live the ride. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you. Peace. What's he doing? Why is the screen black? Freaking hearts in boo. Oh no. Oh no, he didn't. What's he doing? Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys have a good night, man. We'll see you guys out here on Wednesday. Big Sky, Sean, Wheeler, Deshaun, Jacob, Diva, Dave, Mr. Tally, Brett, Kenworth, Big Sky, Pitcher. You guys have a good rest of your night, Viking. Hope you guys have a good night, man. Have a good night, guys. We'll see you Wednesday. Peace. Mr. Glee Dog. Mr. Gildog, Gildog, I thought I said Glee, Gildog, you yourself a good night, man, appreciate you tuning in here tonight.